20 men which comprised the estate workers, a chauffeur, fishermen and laborers were charged earlier today, Tuesday, September 5, 2023, on four offenses that were read to them by Magistrate Ranita Singh at the New Amsterdam Magistrates Court. The 20 men were arrested on Monday morning by the Region 6 police after their protest action led to the disruption of traffic. They were all placed on $50,000 station bail and appeared in court earlier today. The 20 men are Bojnarain Ramkisun, Nigel Ramaladin, Doman Jagnarain, Satesh Jagnarain, Wakir Baksh, Faisal Prasad, Narindat Kemraj, Rupnarain Suku, Kemraj Balkaran, Mohan Primchan, Sean Bess, Kiran Bisundayal, Joseph McPherson, Ratan Singh, George Southwell, Totaram Sanchara, Lance Botswin, Marlon Durant, and Kipi Dennis. Magistrate Singh read the charges to the men who all pleaded not guilty. The three other charges they were not required to plead for were damage to property, acts of terrorism, and unlawful assembly. The men were represented by Member of Parliament Kemraj Ramjatan while Ms. Charlene Artiga represented Mr. Satish Jagnarain. All 20 men were put on $60,000 bail. Following the court proceedings, Mr. Ramjatan spoke with media representatives and explained the following. This, of course, took a very long time to be processed this morning. It was four charges each, uh, unlawful assembly, striking terror. I just can't imagine this government and its police force filing against Kane Cotter, striking terror charges. Um, but that is it. They've been placed on $60,000 bail. All of them indicated to me that their wives and children had to be um, expending a lot of monies for the school. And at this stage, they are literally broken. But still, the prosecutor wanted heavier bail. The magistrate was using her discretion as best as she could, although I pleaded that it be reduced to self-bail. We will be defending it, myself, and on the record, Mr. Roysdale Ford and Darren Wade. When questioned about the arrested men who were reportedly not a part of the protest, Mr. Ramjatan said, well, there, were, there were five or six of them that had nothing to do with this, this striking work. There were a taxi, one was a fisherman and a painter, and um, absolutely nothing. Another one was another fisherman, and so on. But they were just held up in that clean sweep as the police want to impress the powers that be at Freedom House. You know? And this is what you have. These fellas are going to suffer now. They've got to go and find $60,000 bail. And all they were doing was a legitimate exercise. So many times, sugar workers have been, you know, striking for better deals. But this government has found it appropriate, found it appropriate now to lock them up. And beat up some of them last night too, yesterday. It's atrocious what's happening. And some, yeah, I had to go to the hospital. But I'll be speaking more on this issue as the days go by. Thank you very much. The case was adjourned until Monday, October 16, 2023. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.